let's go ahead and pray then. I guess I'll stop there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I want to tell you something. It's not something you don't already know, obviously, but there's some grasshoppers in here tonight who've been thinking about, because you've been already talking to them, you've been talking to them, you say, hey, I want to take you from a grasshopper status to a stone-cold killer with five stone. He didn't say it exactly that way, but that's what he was, in essence, saying. You're going to change your perspective on your life tonight. You're going to repent of seeing yourself as a grasshopper. Two born-again Christians can see the same thing, hear the same thing, and be in the same place at the same time and come away with totally different perspectives. I'm not trying to point fingers, but there's some of you here that have a negative perspective, and you need to repent of it, A-S-A-P. Or your life and your family's life and your finances and everything else is going to go to hell in a porcelain handbasket. You're going to end up with nothing. Nothing. And your heavenly father, with tears in his eyes, is going to watch you do it. Knowing you could have had Mary, and you wanted to stay Martha. I say no tonight, and tomorrow at noon, ladies, you are all going to say no. The Holy Ghost is going to show up huge tomorrow, huge at noon. You be here, and it's going to be special because the grasshoppers are going to come in at noon. The warriors are going to leave three hours late. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, stand out in the street and watch the women come out. Stand out in the street there. Mulberry, stand out there and watch the women come out the door. Get out of their way, though. They'll run you over. They'll run you over. Who's going to repent tonight? I was talking to you, and you have a perspective that's like the ten spies, like Martha. Come on now. Like King Saul, you've got a little bit of that in you. Not, not a lot, not totally, of course. That's not true totally. But you've got enough in there that's blocking your anointing and quenching the spirit. There's just enough of it in there that's blocking some of your prayers, blocking your deliverance. There's just a little bit there. And you need to get that out of there. Fear demons are Satan's messengers to whip Christians, to cause them unbelief and doubt, and to see themselves as grasshoppers in their own eyes. That's what it's for. That's the purpose of the fear spirit. And you picked up your fear spirits when you were young, your crazy parents, the bullying in school. I know you got it when you were young. It wasn't your fault. I understand. But now it is your fault. You're an adult now. You're responsible now. You're responsible. Shall we pray? Father God, Father God, in Jesus' holy name, I don't want to be a grasshopper anymore. I've had enough of it. Ministry team, come down here and help me, would you? I don't want to do it, Lord. I see that. I see King. I want to. I want to go get five stones. That's what I want, Lord. I saw that rhema word tonight. I saw the logos. I saw the whole story. I saw all of it. And I need to repent tonight. And I come down and get rid of this fear demon that blocks my anointing and block, steals my prayers. I want the prince of Persia removed from my life and I'm going to cast him to the ground. Tonight is my night. I'm not leaving here, grasshopper. It's not going to happen. In Jesus' mighty name, thus saith the Lord. All these guys are going to leave my life tonight. King Saul's going to go. Doubting Thomas is going to go. Get out of there, Doubting Thomas. Get out. Thus saith the Lord. Now you come down here if you've got a fierce spirit tormenting you and oppressing you. Come down here right now. You're going to lose him tonight. He's leaving. 
just keep watching here. YouTubers, please don't hang up. You're going to watch these people. The fear demons are going to fly right out of them. And grasshoppers are going to die tonight. That's what a grasshopper needs to do anyway, just die. I don't have any use for a grasshopper. What good are they anyway? I don't know anything about Mother Nature, but that thing stinks. Who cares about a grasshopper? You are learning to fight. That's what you want. You want to fight. King David saw himself as a servant. If you don't see yourself as a servant, I need you to repent tonight. I meaning the good Lord does. I have nothing to do with anything. I'm just praying with you. You don't see yourself as a servant. You're a sick person spiritually. You got sickness in your brain. Just repent of it tonight. Servants like Mary sit at the feet of Jesus. The, the busy beavers in the ministry like Martha, they don't get it. They don't have it. They never get it. They're too busy. They're too busy. Well, tonight you're going to get busy. This fear demon is you're going to take your Holy Ghost hands and choke him out in the name of Jesus. You ready? You ready? Fear demons usually hang around the torso area, tummy, chest, something like that, sternum area. Just put your hands right there. Mark 16, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall put your hands there. YouTubers, just do exactly what I tell you. Put your hands on your torso there. The devil's been whipping you with fear spirits and you've been doubting and you have unbelief. You're going to repent of it tonight. You foul spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, by the blood of Christ. I command you. I'm not asking you. We're not negotiating a deal. I got five stones. And I command you by the spirit of the Lord, by the word of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out now. Go now. Get out of my body. Come out of my tummy. Come on, ladies. You got irritable bowel system syndrome. You got problems with your intestines. That's a fear spirit. You got problems with your bladder. That's a fear spirit. Those are fear spirits. Satan, come out. Right now. I am not one of the ten spies. I'm one of the two. I command you, you spirit of lust. I command you, spirit of offense. Get out of my body right now. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Thus saith the Lord, I command you to move. Come out of my guts. Shyness, weakness, cowardice. Shyness, introversion, introversion. Come out. Fear spirit, come out. Shyness, come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out right now. You perversion of lust. You get out of my body right now. You demon of masturbation. I curse you. I curse you. I command you to loose my body. Come out right now. You spirit spouse. That's evil. Stop touching my genitals. Stop touching my breast. Stop molesting me at night. You spirit spouse, I bind your power with the word of God. And I command you, come on ladies, every spirit spouse, hear my words right now. Hear my words right now, you pervert. Hear my words. You spirit spouse, stop touching her vagina. Stop touching her breast. I curse you. Come out. Come out. You spirit spouse, I command you to come out. She is not your wife. She is not yours. Spirit spouse, come out now. Right now in Jesus' mighty name. Right now in Jesus' holy name. You demon of fear and anxiety, cowardice, shyness, introversion, I rebuke it all. I rebuke it all. Get out of my body right now. Come out right now in Jesus' holy name. Get out of there. 
Get out of my body right now. Come out. You spirit of infirmity. You get out of my legs. You get out of my joints. You get out of my body right now. I command you, cancer, die. COVID, die. You spirit of infirmity, I curse you. Come out. Right now. Right now in Jesus' holy name. Get out of my body. Move now. The Holy Ghost is here. Anything can happen. Let your faith go. Let your faith go. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty. The Greek word is eleutheria. It means freedom. Come on now. The Holy Ghost is the miracle worker. He's got all the miracles of Jesus, the Son of God. He's got all the authority of the Lord Jesus. The Holy Ghost is here. Let your faith go. Let it go now. Go for it. Go for it. Come here. Right here. Yeah. Put your hand, put your hand right here. Tell, tell that demon to come out right now. Come out, spirit. There it is. Good guy. Satan, lose your hold now. Move now, quickly. Not in six weeks, not in two hours. I'm talking to you now. I'm commanding you now. Satan, lose your hold. Come out of my throat. Come out of my genitals. Come out of my stomach. Come out of my tummy right now. Let's go. What's wrong, honey? Who, who, who abused you? What did he do to you? Fawn raped you. What was his name? Junior. John? Curtis Jr. Was he still alive? All right. Close your eyes. Father God, I ask you to go hunt Curtis down. I want you to go find him and put your loving arms around him and tell him that you understand him and you want to forgive him and that all of his demons that transferred in here must come out of her tonight. I release my cousin's demons now in Jesus. That, that, come out, there they are. Come on out. There it comes. Come out right now. Yeah, there you pervert. Come out, you pervert. Come out, you pervert. Leave that body right now. Come out of there, you demon of fear. Come out of the body right now. Come out right now, quickly. Come out quickly. Get out of the body right now. Come out of there right now. Come out right now. You can put your hand right. Don't touch her. Spirit of fear, I command you to come out. Say it. Spirit of fear, come out. Get out of the body quickly. Come out of the body right now. Get out. Get out right now. Come out. Come out of her guts. Come out. There they go. Here they go. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Good. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out right now. Come on out. Uh, uh, who abused you, honey? Verbally. Was she, a na was she critical? Was she nagger? Yeah, what was her name? Uh, Karen. Karen. Oh. Father, go heal Karen right now. All of Karen's demons must come out now. Come out right now. Come out of her now. There they come. Here he comes. There they come. There they come. There they come. There they come. Come out right now. Karen, come out. Karen, come out. Karen, come out of there right now. Come out of there. Come on out. Come out right now. Every spirit from Karen, I bind your power and I command you come out of the daughter right now. Come out of there, buddy. Come out of there right now. I command you in Jesus' name. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. I command you in Jesus' name. Come out. That's how you do it. Hey, that's what witchcraft over there new age 
You get out of that body right now. Stop blocking his healing ministry. What are you doing? He's supposed to be laying these hands on people and they're supposed to be healed. Come out of there, you pervert. Every spirit from pornography from years ago, I bind your power. I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Porn from years ago. Come out of that body right now. Every transfer spirit. Go. That one right there. Come out right now. Come on out. Come out of there, you pervert. Get out of his genitals. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out of my body right now. Come out of my body right now. Come out of there right now. Come out of there. You do two at a time, see? Come out right now. Come out right now. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. Come out of that body right now. Come out right now. Come on, just fight. If you won't fight, you can't get free. You can't casually get demons out. You can't do that. That won't work. Hey, YouTubers, listen to me. <clears throat> you can't casually get demons out. When Jesus cast demons out in Mark chapter 1, Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 7, Mark chapter 9, when he cast demons out of a people, he told them, he commanded them, I charge you. I charge He wasn't casually talking to them. You don't casually talk to demons. You force them out. You force them to obey. You force them to obey. Come out in Jesus' holy name. You get out of that body right now. You're stalling. Come out of there right now. Come on out. Come out quickly. There he comes. There they go. Here they come. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Hey, uh, listen. Uh, you're a very intelligent, uh, intro, kind of an introvert, very cautious about what you do and what you say, very measured person. See, shyness is is a coward spirit. Did you know that? You did? And, and Paul told Timothy... Uh, Paul told Timothy, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. That Greek word for fear there was mistranslated. It's dalia. It's cowardice. And cowardice causes shyness. You have a good heart and you're intelligent. You're, you're a smart person. You have a good heart. And you're a moral, morally correct type person. You don't have a secret life of sin somewhere. No, that's not you. You're shy. Now go ahead and repent of it. Repent. Go ahead. Satan, listen to me. Shyness. Shyness is a spirit. Paul told Timothy... God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. The Greek word for fear is not the regular Greek word. It's dalia. It's cowardice. It's not phobos, fear. Coward spirits make you an introvert. They make you shy. They lock up your anointing. That thing's got to come out. In the name of the Lord. Out! You coward spirit. I command you. I command you. Come out. Come on, ladies. I can't go down there. It's a man. Okay, that's a coward spirit. That's a coward spirit. I'm afraid of men. Males. Okay, that's a crock. It's a satanic crock. You don't need to be afraid of anybody. Come down here. <laughs> okay, you help that girl. Ooh, Get out of that body right now. Come out of there, Satan. Come out.
Well, what's wrong with you? Uh, just, uh, what is it? Uh, what? Uh, just, I think rejection. And... No. When you were little? Huh? When you were little? What? When you were little? little? Uh, no, I think recently. Recently? Yeah, like more recently. No. <clears throat> you have a... And, uh, that's your daughter? Yeah, that's my daughter. Yeah, you have a nice anointing and a nice personality. And you're infectious. You infect people with your happy face, your, your good, positive person. Correct? Right? Yeah. Now, your, uh, those qualities are perfect, but you need to come a little bit over here. You're a little too far over there. Over here. Nasty. You got the other stuff covered. Loving, nice, pleasant, positive, happy. You got all that covered. Move over here just a little bit. Like, no. Fire. Fight. Yes, sir. Anger against the devil. Demons. Boom. See? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you see this beautiful woman standing here? She's got a wonderful heart. But you want her to become a spiritual warrior with a desire to fight against sickness, sin, and demons. And I'm asking you, impart to her the gift of that. Come out of there, shyness, you coward. Come on out of there. Come out of her tummy. There he is right there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come out of that body. Come out of there. Come out right now. Get out of there. Shyness, come out. <coughs> Shyness, I command you to come out. Yo, get out of that body right now. Come out. She is not shy anymore. She's going to fight. Come out of that body right now. If you got a, if you got a Dalia spirit, a coward spirit, you're going to end up introverted and shy. Introverted and shy. That's what that demon does. God has not given you a spirit of cowardice, but of power and love and a sound mind. Cowardice will block all three of those. Cowardice will block all three of those. You'll lose all three. Power, love, a sound mind. If you are a coward, you must learn to fight. You must learn to fight. Come out of that body right now. You coward. You got this coward. Come out of there. There they come. Go ahead. Here they come. Here they come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This gal right here is getting rid of the coward demons. Coward spirits right here. That girl. Satan, lose your hold. You got to tell the devil what you can't ask him. The devil doesn't doesn't do anything if you ask him to do it. He won't do it. You got to take charge. Matt, Mark chapter 1, Jesus said, I charge you. I car charge you, you foul spirit. Come out of the man. Mark chapter 7, the the boy with autism. Jesus said, I charge you. I charge you to come out of the boy. Come out of that boy. Don't ever hurt him again. You think Jesus was talking to these people like the Pope does? You think Jesus talked to them like a Pope does? You got to be kidding me. Are you crazy? 
Jesus attacked the devil. He attacked the demons. I command you. I charge you. I rebuke you. Come out. You got to fight. You have the anointing. You got the Holy Ghost. You have God's word. There's nothing stopping you for crying out loud. Make your move. Come on now. Good God. Make your move. Come out, you coward. Come out there, you coward demon. Shyness. Come out, buddy, right now, quickly. Come out quickly. Get out of there. Satan, come out. Satan, come out. Satan, come out. Yo, stinking pervert. Come out of that body right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of there. Every ugly man that ever touched me, every one of them, oral sex demons, come out. Come out. Get out, buddy. Come out of there, you pervert. Get out of my lips. Oral sex, come out. Come out. Every ugly man that touched my body, come out right now. Go in Jesus' mighty name. Get out of there. Come out. All the bad men. Get out of there, buddy. It's time for you to make your move. Now is the time. Thus saith the Lord. You did beautiful. Shyness is a spirit. See? You got all the good qualities you want in a Christian. You have them all. Pick up this end. Yeah, that's all you, that's all you need. And you'll be going Mary. Mary. Yeah, I'm not listening to you ever again. No more negative thoughts. I've had enough of it. Yeah, my buddy. Go out of there. Come out. Come out right now. There he is. Come out. Hey, will you pray for the scouts? You got chronic negative thoughts. Satan, come out of here. Listen, demons are trespassers. Demons are trespassers. They're infiltrators. They sneak in. They sneak in. They're trespassers. They come in the guise of religion. Jehovah's Witnesses. Mormons. Seventh-day Adventists. Mennonites. Amish. All these religions. Satan. Cooked them up. There is no such thing as religion. Religion is of Satan. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. YouTubers. You got involved in a religion? Get rid of it. Just repent of it. These YouTube guys casting demons out of everybody. Shopping malls and parks. Forget about all that. No deliverance has any value that doesn't include repentance. Repentance is the centerpiece of deliverance. Not your anointing blowing demons out of a guy in Macy's. Okay, that's, that's not going to do any good. The devils are just going to get back in the next day, the next week, the next whatever. Repentance is the key. You do not do deliverance on people who won't repent. Thus saith the Lord, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will receive the gift of the 
Holy Ghost. Repentance comes first. You must repent first. Repent of what? Chronic negative thoughts. Chronic, chronic negative emotions. Criticisms of yourself. Criticisms of others. You must repent of it. Well, Brother Mike, I'm not doing all these big sins anymore. You're not? Well, who cares? The demons don't. You still got mind problems. You still got emotional problems. Come down here and repent of it right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, I repent of these chronic negative thoughts. Listening to negative thoughts. They trigger my negative emotions. The negative thought comes in first. Then my emotions flare. And now I'm in a bad place. Loneliness, fear, rejection. All of it manifests. Right now, stay here. You stay here. Okay. <clears throat> All of it manifests. Why? The negative thoughts got in. Thus saith the Lord. The weapons of your warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty to the God to pulling down of strongholds in the mind and casting down imaginations in the mind. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in the mind. Bringing into obedience every what? Thought to the obedience of Christ. Your mind, your perspective is either going to drive you through the gates of heaven or pour you through the gates of hell. Your perspective determines where you go in life and where you die. Come on now. Come on. Okay, what's wrong with you, sweetheart? Not with me, but with my daughter. My daughter, she... What's her name? Her name is Amanda. What's wrong with her? She, she doesn't here? believe in God. She here? No, she's not here. She oh. lives in Ohio. She left. Uh, now, how old is she? She's uh, 30 years old. 38. Okay. 30. Now. Um, she just turned 30. Okay. You want to see her saved and everything, right? I want to see her saved. I want her. Okay. This demon that is in her to be gone. Yeah. Because it's a demon of her in Christ. Okay. Now, listen. None of them prayers are going to get answered. Right. You're not. They're not. It's not going to happen. Unless you heaven. change. It's not going to work. You got to change. Okay? You know why? You are her mother, right? Yes. And you truly love her. Yes, dearly. Dearly love her. In fact, if I was guessing, I would say you love her more than you do you. <laughs> what? I love her. Yeah, a lot isn't the word for it. Okay? And because you love her so much, the demons tricked you into worrying about her. Which does what? Which does what? Not good. It blocks your prayers. Yes. And this is what I have been praying for her for months. You know, like he, I believe that her has been over by you. All right. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, you're all tensed up right now, see? So, I'm not tensed, just, just relax. What's that? My legs hurt because. Oh, your legs I hurt? What's wrong with your legs? No, I had a surgery and one, Where? Leg, one leg is shorter than the other. Oh, okay. You know, that's Come on over here. Over here. <clears throat> Sit in there and put your fanny all the way back. Push your fanny back. All the way back. Your butt. Yeah. Okay. Pick those up. They put the, the, the doctor put the, something that is low. This became longer than this. Well, hold on a second. We're going to find out. Now, <coughs> now you grab them under the ankle. Yeah, you put your thumb under the ankle knuckle. See that? See the knuckle? Where's the knuckle on this one? Okay, put your thumb under, just under it. Okay, now can you see your legs? 
This one looks a little longer than the other one. Did you notice that? So, yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, watch this. Close your eyes there. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Leg grow out. Heal. Are they even yet or not? Put your thumb under the ankle knuckle. Huh? Here, let's see. No, not on it. Under. Just under it. Right there. Nope. There you go. No, this one's still longer. Okay. Leg grow. Hips heal. 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 <clears throat> Anything? Huh? What? I said it seems a little different. Well, is it evened out yet or not? Hey, can you think of anybody that you got bad feelings about when you think about them? Negative emotions? I don't. I don't. No, no ne negative emotions, feelings, feelings. I had in the past, but I, after that, about was yourself? Delivered. Not really, lately, no. I believe that I got the heal me from that. I didn't okay. believe. And that the fact that I had the surgery, a hip surgery, hip replacement. Oh, this hip replacement doctor, here? Yes, and the doctor put a, a metal. Uh, that yeah. is made this like longer than this one. Yeah. Okay. Does that bother your back? Can you feel pain in your back? I have pain in my lower back. Okay. Stand up. Let's try it this way. All right. You ready? Yeah. Heal. Heal. Okay. Check it out. Does that still hurt? Check it out. Move your body around. It's gone. Did you see that? I don't look at me. I had nothing to do with that healing. I don't look at me. I had nothing to do with that healing. I can't heal anything. I can't even heal myself. Thank you, Jesus. You know what your job is tonight after you got healed? Lead the praise. Raise your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Come on now. Walk, start walking around praising. Go ahead. Raise your hands. Make her praise. Raise your hands, honey. Thank you, Jesus. Back this way. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my back. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for healing my back. Thank you, Jesus. Only the Holy Ghost can heal. No one else can heal. What? Who got healed? My side was all messed up. Who? What happened to you? I thought like had like stomach cancer or ulcer or something because it was this. Something came out. Is it gone? It's gone. Oh, is the pain all gone? The pain is all gone. I can stretch all the way. Come on over here with her. Follow her around. There you go. Follow her. Raise your hands and praise. There you go. This guy just got healed. The big guy. Big guy got healed. Only the Holy Ghost heals. Nobody else can heal. No one can heal. He's the only one. He's it. Period. Who's this gal? I'm Loretta. Hi. Oh, you Loretta? You call the phone? You did. Yeah. yeah, I think I talked to you or called you back or something. What's wrong with you? I have HIV and I have neuropathy. Ne neuropathy in your legs or feet? In my legs. Because oh, both legs? Okay, come on over here. You know, sit down over here and put your fanny all the way back there, will you? Put your fanny. Hey, don't stop. Hey, you follow him, praise him. Keep going. You follow him. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, you follow her.
Come on over here. <clears throat> Scoot your fanny all the way back. Is it all the back? Is it all the way back? Okay, try it again. Put your thumb under the ankle knuckle. Does that hurt? Does that hurt? What's that? It feels funny. It doesn't hurt though? You got peripheral neuropathy, right? In, in, in your thighs or in your calves or feet or what? From the knees down. From the knees down. Okay, good. Put your thumb under the ankle knuckle. Let's see where we're at. Where's the knuckle at? No, it's up here. See the knuckle? It's that, it's that bone in your hip, in your heel. Just put your finger. Okay. Okay, your legs look about the same size. Stand, same length. Stand up. All righty. You ready? Ready, ready. Thank you. What's your name? Loretta. Loretta. Okay. Lord Jesus. Here's Loretta. She's got uh, pain in her lower legs, and today she's to be healed. Heal. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and run down there. Go. Faster. 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 What's her name again? What's her name again? Loretta, come on, sweetheart. Make your move. Thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, honey. Thank you for healing me, Lord. Thank you for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. What's going on in there? It's burning. Oh, it's burning. Keep going. Thank you, Jesus. Burning, I command you to leave. Come out. Burning, come out of them legs now. Demon of neuropathy. I bind your power. Come. There it is. There. How you feeling? When, when you put your hand here, I felt like something popping in my back. Oh, it popped. That the Holy Ghost healing you. I had nothing to do with it. I can't heal anybody. You know that. Love you. You going to seminar more? Yeah. That girl. <laughs> Thank you. What happened? Come on, sweetheart. You're healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. No, no, I remember you. Put your hands up. You're leading the praise now. Go ahead. Thank you for healing. Peripheral neuropathy. Holy Ghost healing here. Right there. Come on. The Holy Ghost is here. Take a shot at it. Just reach out. Take your shot. Just push it. Push it. Anything can happen when he's around. Anything can happen if he's around. If I'm around, who cares? If he's around, that's, that's a mic drop. The Holy Ghost a mic drop. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. All healed up. You come to seminar tomorrow, aren't you? Oh, well, you're going back healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take a big breath. Thank you, Lord. Every spirit of infirmity, I bind your power. There he is. Come on out of her throat. There he comes. Here you go. Hold that. Thank you, Jesus. Come out of there, devil. There he comes. Come on out of her. She's going home healed and delivered. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Atta girl. Keep coughing. Come out right now in Jesus' holy name. You get out of that body. Come out of there right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come out. Come out. They're not done. Keep come out of my lungs. Satan, I command you to come out of me right now. Say that. Now go. There he is. Keep coughing. Good girl. There it goes. Coming out right now. They're coming out now. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Hey, will you cast the rest of these demons out of her? She's stalling. What you got to do is push it. See? You got to push it. Mary pushed it. 
Me what happened? Ankle, uh, What's wrong with it? I had fractures in my ankle and knee from a car accident two years ago. Car what going 45 miles an hour hit me. Whoa! Fractured tibia, fibia, uh, here. ACL. Oh, come on over here. Come over here. Have a seat over there, would you? Okay. Push your fanny all the way back up there. His leg just grew out, too. Oh, it already grew out? Yeah. Oh, okay. You already did it? Or it just happened? Yeah, I did it over there. Oh, man. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Perfect. Wow. Stand up. Hey, this guy's ankle fracture got healed. Ankle fracture. Jump over there. Look at that. Fractured ankle healed. That's a Holy Ghost healing. Okay. Only the Holy Ghost can heal. No one else can do it. The demons can give you a fake healing. They'll pull back for a little bit. They make you feel better, then they jump on you the next day. That's a fake demonic healing. Okay, a Holy Ghost healing will, will stand up under any scrutiny, any scrutiny, anything. It stays healed. A demonic healing, that's different. That's different. That'll come back later. You'll get healed temporarily, then it'll come back later. Okay, you must renew your mind. You must renew your mind. Let this mind be in you who was in Christ. Negative thoughts. Are you repenting of those? She'll repent. She she repents. Okay, so she'll 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 re yeah she'll re cooperate with you. Yeah, I know her. She repents. What's up, killer? Hey, what's wrong with that girl? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with that girl? What's wrong with that girl? What's wrong with her? Her husband. Her husband what? Um, he was on the streets on drugs, and now he's clean and sober, but he can't. He doesn't participate in family. He's not being a husband to her. So oh, he's yeah. tormented and she's tormented. Mm -hmm. Come on. What's his name? What's your husband's name? Ivan. 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 Okay. Now listen. Uh, Ivan has betrayed you and it's killing you because you love him. Correct? You don't love him? I love him, of course I do. Oh, I had a girl. So, your worry and concern, your worry is blocking his healing. Okay. What's his name again? Ivan. Ivan. Okay, so we got to get Ivan's demons out of here. Because they're transferred into her from Ivan. Because he was on drugs, you know. All drug addicts, 100%, have demons. All of them. Okay. But we got to get Ivan out of here so your prayers are not blocked. Okay? All right. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I release my husband into your hands right now. Of my own free will, I've decided... To let him go. I cannot help him and I cannot heal him. I cannot help him and I cannot heal him. Only you can. And I am standing in the way of his healing because of my emotional pain and my worry about his future, about his health, and about him dying. And I have to release all this into your hands and my husband if I want him to come back someday. I must let him go. I'm going to do that right now. Every spirit that transferred into me from my drug-infected husband must leave now. Take a breath and blow. Must leave now. Come out now. Come out right now.
in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. What's wrong with you, sweetheart? I just have hives. I've had hives for the past You've got what? Hives every day. Hives. Okay. Now, she got hives. That's a, a soul problem. And it's usually, it's a spirit that usually gets in in childhood. Were you hard on yourself when you were a kid, or was somebody hard on you? Uh, yeah. Um, What's that thing there? What is that? What is that? A cross? Yeah. Where'd you get it at? My friend. My friend? Your friend. Are, what religion are they? No. Okay. No, it was a gift. For what religion friend. are they? Yeah, she's Christian. Okay. All right, so. I was just telling her that I had hives 12 years ago up until 2021. My friend that, you know, was all, uh, ordained as a deliverance, like she took me through. I was delivered oh. for, you know, from 21 up until November of last year. And then what happened? I just broke out. And I mean, what kind of Nothing. things were going on in your life? Her husband's, my husband's in, prison. in prison, but he's been in there for almost eight years, going on eight years. Um, it's just been a... Did you go to a church service where somebody laid hands on you and prayed for you? No, I was just leading a, a Bible study connect group for women. Uh -huh. And after that, like that night, it was on a Friday. Uh -huh. After that service or the Bible study ended, like I just broke out hives. And I've been okay. Hives ever since. Now, when you had that Bible study, was somebody did somebody disagree with anything you said? talking about my marriage because I've been kind of like off and on like with divorcing him not divorcing him and so I finally decided to divorce him and so like I've been at peace and um, you, you, you said that at the meeting we were talking about my marriage yeah. and did anybody say you shouldn't get divorced or criticize no, you or no, say anything no. negative no. was there anybody there that was in witchcraft or new age or sorcery previously did any of them pray for you or put their hands on you? No. This is not making any sense. The spirit got back in during the prayer meeting, and but it was cast out before. Okay. Now some something let that in. Hmm. Well, it's easy to cast it out if we figure out what the root of it is here. Uh, Lord Jesus, some demon got into her and gave her hives again. I know they're fear spirits. Oops, I know they're fear spirits. The question is, how did he get in there? I want you to tell her. How'd you get in there? How'd you get in there? Right in the middle of a prayer meeting, you jumped in her? Is that what you did? How'd you get in there? What happened? How'd you get in there? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Take a breath and blow. Blow. Breathe out of your mouth. There you go. Breathe out of your mouth. Breathe out of your mouth. <sighs> Atta girl. Okay. Come on out. You demon of hives, I command you to Come get out, out of that right body right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come she go, out right she now. commands you to go out in Jesus. Jesus. Holy out. Come out. Get out of that body right now. Yes, come out right now. Out. Hives, I command you to heal. Heal. He heals in the name of Jesus. Good? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wonderful. Please come back and visit. You come out of there right now, you demon of hives, you fear spirit. YouTubers, tomorrow, tomorrow is a very important day here at the Deliverance Center. It's a women's seminar. It's going to be big. Bunch of deliverances, bunch of healings tomorrow, starting at noon. Starting at noon, our bathrooms, our bathrooms are working. It's a miracle. 
our bathrooms are working. Okay, ladies? You can use the men's room if you need to tomorrow. Just put somebody out in front of the door as a watchman. Like I used to be a security guard. Put a security guard out in front of the door to O&R. Observe and report. Okay? But do not be like the ten spies and give your opinion about what's going on in the bathroom. Do not do that. You are the O&R and that's it. That's it. Okay? We had four beautiful healings tonight, but tomorrow, lots more healings at noon, ladies. Tomorrow's been... I can't leave without getting... <laughs> love you. <laughs> I see you on Facebook. I love you. I love you, <laughs> Thank you. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm glad you'll be here tomorrow for sure, right? Okay. Boom. That I had with some night stalkers. Oh. So this was like maybe ten days ago. I was having like I don't know if you call it an open vision or or whatever, but I was starting to fall asleep and I was curled up under the blankets and literally. I literally saw my, like, almost like I was dreaming, but two dark spirit beings busting into my room. Mm -hmm. And I literally saw one was coming this side because I was laying on my side, one was coming on my back, and then I woke up because the one was, like, caressing my face mm -hmm. and putting his face next to my face. Oh. And I literally woke up and I was like, oh, get out of here. Did you get, ever get molested or raped or anything like that when you were younger? Yeah. You did? Uh, yeah. Did. What happened? When I was when I was twelve I was babysitting and the woman's ex husband she went out on a date, the woman's ex husband came. The woman's ex husband mm -hmm. came and he started Hey. Well hey will you go get her? Go get Stephanie for me. He, he what? He, he started kissing me, and I started pushing him off, mm. and I, I pushed him off, and he said, mm. now don't tell anybody, because we're both getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. and you I were 12? I was 12. All right. Yeah. Now, I think something's still in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, so she had a night stalker come in her room, and he was caressing her face and all this stuff. Well, she got molested at 12. Correct? Yeah. All right. Now... You're a little tense right now, so just close your eyes and just totally relax there. Or somewhere. Thank you. Yeah. Now, can you totally relax her? There we go. Good. Just relax. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, these lust demons from age 12 are coming into her room all these years later. It's been decades. And this can't, cannot happen. Now, there's something in here that is giving them a green light. They tell these demons when she's about to hit sleep. As soon as she starts dropping off, he gives a signal. And then the other ones move in. And that, ooh, that one's got to come out. That one's got, there he is right there. Oh, there he comes. Here he comes. Uh-oh, the night stalkers are coming out. There they come. Come out of there, you night stalker. Go now. YouTubers. <clears throat> YouTubers, we had a bunch of healings tonight, racks of deliverances, but tomorrow is a much better service. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's our women's service, best service of the year. The Holy Ghost will be running wild tomorrow. Wild tomorrow. Please be here at noon tomorrow. The bathrooms are working. We're almost done with our renovation project. And I want you to go to the website tonight, hardcorechristianity.com. I want you to hit the teaching button. I want you to read two articles, Satan's counterattack and how Satan controls the mind. I taught on it tonight. The mind, your mind, your perspective determines your future and how you die. Your perspective determines 
your future and how you die. You've got to change it and become a Mary. A Mary. You must become a Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi. You must become Mary. All right? Oh. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What should I pray for? What's that? What should I pray for? What should you pray for? The spirit of infirmity in there has knows something we don't. Can you ask the Lord what he's got on you? Because he should have come out the first time you were here. He didn't. Why? Okay. Lord Jesus, I want you to tell her what he's doing in there. Is it a false belief? Is it a curse? Is it self-hatred? Is it self-doubt? Is it fear? Is it unbelief? Whatever it is, I want you to tell her what it is so he can be removed. <clears throat> so he can be removed. The spirit of infirmity is tormenting her. He knows something we don't. I want to know what he knows. What does he know? I want you to give her hatred for this demon. Raw hate. Righteous indignation. Godly hate. And she will take her God-given authority and agree with us and cast this spirit of infirmity out in Jesus' mighty name. Get out of my body now. Get out of my wrist and get out of my body now. Come out of my legs. Come out of my body in Jesus' mighty name. Get out. Come out right now. I command you to come out of my body. I command you in Jesus' mighty name. I command you to go. Go now. Go now. Thank you, Jesus. Good. Go now. Thank you, Jesus. Have you pray for her? She's got a spirit of infirmity, and we can't figure out why he won't come out. Do you have any idea? This one? Yeah, this girl here. Oh, Stephanie went and saw her, right? She wouldn't repent for... Whoa, it's the Mennonites. Yeah. Never mind. I got it. Yep. All right, hardcorechristianity.com. Go to the website tonight. Please read those two articles. Please remember the women's service tomorrow. Please remember my seminar on the invisible world, part three, which is the best part, if I do, if I do say so myself, is next Friday, the invisible world, in Jesus' name. See you next time.